Today I want to take you to an account from Jesus' life where he said no to what to our ears seems like a very reasonable request. Jesus had just encountered a man who had been demon-possessed. And through the power of God, he had been delivered from all the physical and emotional and relational turmoil that had been part of his life. He asked Jesus if he can go with him when he departs from that country and be with him. Jesus refuses to allow him to accompany him. And he makes this statement in Luke chapter 8, verse 39. He says, Return to your own house and tell what great things God has done for you. Apparently, Jesus had a far greater mission for that man than to be on the road with him, as it were, being an evangelist. He wanted him just to go to his own home, to his own people, to his own acquaintances, and tell them his story. You know, we each have a story. If you're a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, you have a story of God's deliverance and the process of change that is going in in you. That can be a powerful It can be a significant, it can be certainly an influential tool in God's hands as it enters into the heart of those who hear your story. My challenge to you today, and might it be your purpose, and might it give you just joy as you do this today, find somewhere, find someone, find some way to share your story. Maybe you can do it through social media. Maybe you could do it just by jotting down something and passing a note along. Or perhaps engage in a conversation with someone. You have a story to tell. Tell it today. As you do, you'll please the Lord, and it'll be a blessing to you as well. Have a great day. We'll talk to you again real soon.